everyone, you're watching the end, and this is Break In News. I have in my hand the love letters, the love emails from Governor Stanford to his mistress, and it says, <clears throat> On tomorrow, I leave at 5 a.m. for New York and meetings. We'll think about you on its street and wish I was going to be there later in the month when you are there. Tomorrow night, back to Philadelphia for the start of the National Governors Conference through the weekend. Back to Columbia for Tuesday and then on Wednesday, as I think I had told you, taking the family to China, Tibet, Nepal, India, Thailand, then back to Hong Kong on whirlwind tour. Few days home, then to the Bahamas for five days on Friends' boat for the last break of the summer. The following weekend has been asked to spend in the Athens, blah, blah, blah. Then he gets to two mutual feelings. You have a particular grace and calm that I adore. You have a level of sophistication that's so fitting with your beauty. I could digress and say that you have the ability to give magnificent, gentle kisses or, so, or that I love your tan lines or that I love the curve of your hips, the erotic beauty of you holding yourself or two magnificent parts of yourself in the faded glow of the night's light. But hey, that would be going to sexual details. Three, and finally above, while all these things are true, at the same time we are in a hopeless, or as you would put it, impossible. How about combine and simply say hopeless, impossible situation of love? How in the world this lightning strike snuck up on us, I'm not quite sure. As I've said to you before, I'm certain had a special feeling about you from the first time we met, but these feelings were contained, and I genuinely enjoyed our special friendship and the comparing of all too many personal notes. Lastly, I suspect I feel a little vulnerable because this is the ground I have never, certainly never covered before. So if you have pearls of wisdom on how we figure all this out, let me know. In the meantime, please sleep soundly knowing that despite the best efforts of my head, my heart cries out for you. Your voice, your body, the touch of your lips, the touch of your fingertips, and even deeper connection to your soul. And then Maria, that's the name of the lover, responds and says, as I told you, I shouldn't have done this trip, but I would have felt worse if I would have come because it was too over the date. He is a very nice guy, great heart, but unfortunately I'm not in love with him. You are my love. Something hard to believe, even for myself, as it's also a kind of impossible love. Not only because of distance, because of but the situation. Sometimes you don't choose, they just happen. I can direct my feelings and am, ha am, very, and am very happy with mine towards you. Um... So yes, and then there's another part of the email, but nothing juicy there. So I will keep you posted. Keep on watching the end. This is breaking news. Juicy emails from the state of South Carolina. That's where I'm from. My governor is a trip. Well, he's y'all governor now. Peace out. Y'all have more for me soon. Check it out. Find the emails. The link is over here or over there, whatever side. Bye.